All right. So with most of y'all on the channel, what y'all been waiting for? The updates on the IROC. So, last time I stopped touching it, um, I was having a problem with that O2 sensor. Um, it was reading, it really wasn't reading really, and so it was making the car dump fuel on this side, but when I plugged it, it read fine. So I got an O2 sensor spacer. We're gonna see how that works. I didn't test that yet before I, um, before I, what do I wanna say? I didn't test it before I stopped running the car. That's what I wanted to say. So I was having a lot of problems with the car. Um, you've probably seen those videos. Go back and look at those videos. But I had like, I don't know, maybe 10 different problems with the car after taking it on the highway and bringing it back home. So um, right now we got it. It was running pretty good before I stopped um, driving in the winter. I added the BM &M, B and m shifter on here. It was shifting just fine, but sometimes it acts weird. I also want to do the LS1 dash. I had this all mocked up, but then my gauges weren't working, and I couldn't figure out why. And I was like, you know what? I just got to go back through this wiring and do it cleanly. Because, yes, I know where everything is at, but I just want to make it look a lot cleaner. So when I put this dash up, everything is hidden. Um, with this B&M shifter, it was shifting fine. Just wanted to double check, make sure everything's shifting fine before I get on the highway. Um, the other day, I tried to go and do a, a um, just a cold start because I haven't heard it run in months. And I wasn't getting power. So I have a, a power cable ran from the front to the back here. And some reason, this cable was not giving power to the block up here. But when I put the battery straight to that block, the block started running just fine. Oh yeah, I took off. Hold on one second. Bear with me. Right. I took off the brake booster because this brake booster was bad. I ordered a LS1 brake booster from Hawks. Then I waited about three weeks and then found out that was canceled. And then I just said, forget it, I'll order another one. Or I'll wait till it gets hot and I'll just go to the junkyard. Then another one popped up on there, so I just went and grabbed that. I would have had this installed already, but this is, uses different bolts from the stock brake booster. So I gotta get, I believe, eight millimeter bolts for that. So, but yeah, I got power to this block. And then I went to go start the car and the starter just went click, click. So now I got to figure out if the starter is dead or if there's a wiring issue. Um, it was having no problems before it sat for our winter. So there's no telling what happened, but I still want to clean this up this year. Of course, the stuff on right here it won't be here, but I want to clean this up, getting this look a little bit better. Um, this has some coolant overflow problems. I still got to figure out the level for that because uh, the car was heating and not heating, not heating and not heating. It looks like we got that figured out now. Um, the car is staying close to around 200. So that might be just working fine. So we're just getting everything back tight. And I just wanted to get the car running. I had got the car running. I was taking it back and forth 500 miles I got on it before I started having problems. So that was pretty good out of it. We'll get it the wiring fixed on here get that ran back straight put the ls1 dash back in there um i got some few things i want to show y'all once i get all that put back together and then we're just gonna uh get it running finally get a full exhaust on there and then this year i don't plan on camming it i just wanted to get the car running good at the way it is um, get the suspension, everything right, get my 60 foot low, get the car just running good the way it is before I started adding power at it. Most people just throw power at it and then try to figure it out. I want to figure it out, then get power on it. Hopefully I'm doing that right. But those are the goals for now. Um, for this LS1, or anybody that is reading or watching. So... 
This is the old third gen dash. What is this box here? Do I need this box? Um, I don't know how much of this I need. I know I need, this is for my lights, my radio and headlights. But, and the fuse panel, some of the stuff, I don't know what everybody was tucking there that night. Try to look up photos and videos, but I couldn't find this thing where I was tucking there. Um, and then I had to figure out how I'm going to mount the radio because the radio doesn't really mount to anything in here. Or when I put the dash in, there's really nothing for it to grab onto. So I'm really confused on how to mount the radio. But other than that, got to figure out... Um, those wires and just clean this thing up and get it running right. And this was the Mustang pods I said, should I throw inside the Impala on that little panel right there? But I don't know how much time I'm spending on this today. Um, I'm having a good day, so I don't want to ruin it. Car guys, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Definitely throw away a good day if everything doesn't go the way it was supposed to. This running wire, so. All right, this is an update for the iRock for 2021. I believe it's the first update of this year. Hopefully, we'll be getting this to the track hmm, in the next month or two and getting it sliding as well. All right, y'all.